what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? Dave Chappelle trended online after he defended rapper The Baby in his new Netflix comedy special. A few weeks ago, The Baby was canceled after he made some offensive remarks regarding HIV AIDS and ran the LGBTQ community hot. Boy, they was mad. They was canceling The Baby left and right. Dave said the LGBTQ community really don't know the baby's history. The baby killed a man in Walmart and nothing bad happened to his career. So in this country, Dave said, you can shoot and kill an N-word, but you better not hurt a gay person's feelings. Come on, Dave. Man, Dave, that's my dog, man. And that's why, see, let me tell you something, fam. I don't rock with a lot of people in this industry. I know a lot of people, but I don't rock with them. I rock with Dave. That's my dog, for real. Solid dude. Stay on his feet. Close to the issues. Family man. You know, we care about what's going on. Stand for something. It ain't a lot of people in Hollywood who stand for something and that are stand on something. Dave is one of the few. Man. So anyway, fam, y'all agree or disagree? Dave said in this country, you can shoot or kill a black person. But if you hurt a gay person's feelings, hey man, you might get canceled. Ooh wee man. That's a good special. He went on to talk about how, you know, he's a target of the gay community because he talks about the gay community a lot. And he said, I don't talk about him because I don't like him. He said, he said, I don't tell these jokes. He said, I don't tell jokes to offend people, or whatever. I tell jokes because they're funny. I say, I say these things because they are funny. So he tried to make light of serious situations. And Dave Chappelle, you know, anybody can get it with him. I mean, he'll, he'll go at anybody. I think the dude is just absolutely brilliant in the way that he delivers comedy. And I'm telling you something, fam. We, what we're witnessing right now with Dave Chappelle, all of those comedy specials he's done. What, is, what has he done? Like four comedy specials in the last two years or something? That's unheard of, fam. Most comedians would do one comedy special and may not reload until four or five years. You know, that is a lot of artistry. That shows you how good dude is. And when I say he's not just doing specials to get to the, to the bag, he got the bag secured. Dave do comedy because he really enjoys writing jokes. He enjoys telling jokes. I've seen him play to thousands and thousands of people, and I've seen him play to just 200 people, but only because that's what he wanted to do. He'll be in town, and he'll call somebody at, at, at uh, a venue, and he'll be just like, it could be any kind of venue. It could be a little small little shack hole in the wall or whatever, and he just want the vibe. He liked the vibe. He'd be like, yo, uh, I want to come, want to come do a couple of shows. Dude, make a couple of calls, put out, put out a post on Facebook, and the place sold out as fast as they put it, put it out that he's there, it's sold out. And can get any price he named. So he don't have to play. 20,000 to make, you know, a bunch of racks. People, man, I see people, man, them tickets go like this. It don't matter what the cost is. And I'm talking about cost being a thousand. You can't even get to the tickets. You know, if, if he plays an intimate setting, you can forget trying to get tickets. 
You're going to have to know somebody to get a ticket. But man, yeah, I, I won't lie. I fell asleep on the special, but I did hear the part about the baby. And so I fell asleep like maybe about halfway through. The only reason why I fell asleep because, man, I was dead tired. I started watching it like 3 a.m. So I was already on my way out. But in any event, in any event, I will be finishing it up. So by the time y'all see this, I will have satisfied that itch. But, all right, fam, where you stand on this? You in agreement? Is Dave on to something in this country, this country, America? Can you really shoot and kill a black person and nobody makes a fuss about it, but if you hurt a gay person's feelings, you'll get canceled? I don't believe it. I refuse to believe, man. I refuse. I, I refuse to believe that anybody in America could be that hypocritical or not have empathy for the dead. I just don't believe that. I refuse to believe that people will have more empathy for somebody having their feelings hurt than somebody having being killed. I just, I, I'm not going to believe it. Y'all say what y'all want to say. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?